Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, all praises and in glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Makakudash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Ratazah, this lesson is edifying. This video is inspired by the video done by Apostle Tahar. The video he did on T.D. Jakes and how he's an apologist for Esau. And uh, within the video, <laughs> T.D. Jakes said that Esau doesn't hate us. The so-called white man doesn't hate us. And that the things that he did to our people in slavery, beginning with bringing them here, all right, in 1619, was just for business. And there were so many things that were done to our people, all right? And not just the so-called Negroes, but beginning in the 1500s, all right, when uh, Cristo Bull Cologne, all right, came over here with, with, it, with that conquest, all right, and subjugated the people of the 10 tribes of Israel and the horrific acts and atrocities that were done to them when they met him with peace, all right, hanging them at the gallows, all right, by the hundreds, all right, burning them as they were hanging, all right, cutting open women's stomachs, all right, dashing their babies against the stones, uh, uh, chopping off their hands, all the way up until the time of 1619, all right, when those criminals came over here from England all right, as outcasts, and they found the 13 colonies and brought with them our right, so-called Negroes, which consist of Benjamin, Judah, and Levi. All right, but the head of them is actually Judah, which is known today as the North American Negro. You got a lot to pay for. All right, and what Esau has done to our people, it was pure hatred. Let's say pre-adventure that it wasn't done by hatred and that Esau was just trying to increase his wealth. All right, he just wanted uh, workers to work these swath of lands that they stole through looting, through rape, robbery, and murder, that he just wanted someone to work these swath of lands so that he can increase his wealth. So he exploited them through harsh conditions of, 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 of slavery through the penalty of death that if they did not comply and if at any time they attempted to seek their freedom that he will put them to death. Let's entertain that, all right? They will still have to be punished according to the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Exodus, the 21st chapter, in verse 16, it says, And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hands, he shall surely be put to death. So according to the law, if you were doing this just to increase your price, to increase your wealth, if you were just doing this for business, as T.D. Jake stated, all right, and I may not be speaking his exact words, all right, but he spoke on the on the lines of that, that they just did it, you know, for business. According to the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh they would still have to be put to death. Deuteronomy 24 and 7. If a man be found still in any of his brethren of the children of Israel and maketh merchandise of him or sell of him, then that thief shall die and thou shalt put evil away from among you. You know, which this was a law written for Israelites that if they were still in the poor of their people, you know, and making merchandise of them, all right, to sell them so that they may increase their own wealth, that that person of Israel would die. So how much more so someone of another nation? Now, the word there for Imar, I mean, for, for merchandise is Imar, which means to bind sheave, all right, together. All right, to 
manipulate, to deal tyrannically with, all right, to treat as a slave. So, how much more so someone of another nation, man? How much more so an Edomite, all right, or as you name, your, name yourselves today, the self-proclaimed white man, all right, you took our people and you sold them as merchandise upon your slave uh, um, of, uh, during slavery. All right, you auctioned them off on auction blocks. Even that's recorded within the scriptures. When you go within the book of Joel, the third chapter and the third verse, it says, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that thou may drink. So tell me this, you know, the bug breaking homosexual acts that Esau was performing on our youth. All right. Was that was that done for business? You know, performing homosexual acts on men in regards to buck breaking. Was that just done for business? All right. That humiliation that they had to endure. All right. The raping of our women. Was that just done for business? But anyways, you cast lots for our people. All right. You put them on auction blocks to sell them. All right, the goods that were shipped here to America, as it states within the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, and going down to the 13th verse, well, I'll start at uh, verse 11. It says, And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. So part of the merchandise was what? Jump it down to 13 and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wines, the wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. All right, because part of the merchandise that was sold here, all right, to increase the wealth of these people were the slaves and souls of Israelites. So according to the scriptures, Deuteronomy 24 and 7, if a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel and maketh merchandise of him or selleth him, then that thief sh shall die and thou shalt put away evil from among you. So according to the law alone, all right, you are to be put to death. And you did this in great numbers. And according to the previous scripture that was read, when the Lord returns, we're going to be found in your hands. You took our people, you shipped them to this country, all right, to be sold, to increase your wealth, and to further increase your wealth through extorted uh, 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 slavery, to extorting, uh, extorting work out of them, so that you can become rich, so that you can become great. But according to the scriptures, you are supposed to be punished for that. All right, because you stole children of Israel and you sold them. All right, and you and not only did you sell them. All right. You did horrific things unto them within slavery. Breaking out their teeth if they would rather starve themselves instead of dying, uh, instead of uh, uh, being under the condition of slavery. When they would try to run away. All right. You would you would um, maim them. By cutting off different parts of their body. Alright, you will rape their wives in slavery. Alright, you will rape men in slavery. You will separate the families and the children. Now those things are recorded within Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. Which proves that we are the Israelites. Alright, we understand that you didn't just do this. Alright, to become rich. Although you became rich through the slavery that you put our people in. All right, dealing with all of the tribes, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, from, from Judah all the way down to Naphtali, you know, all of the 12 tribes. You did this out of your hatred that you had for them, because if this was just to increase your wealth, what about, you know, black codes and exclusionary acts, you know, after slavery? What about the pinniage of sharecropping? All right, what about Jim Crow? 
are it in these laws that you formulated to stop so-called Negroes from being able to advance within this society? What about the lynchings? All right, what about the KKK that was formed? All of these things were done out of pure hatred because it states within the book of Amos, all right, 1 and 11, it states this. It says, Thus said Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishments thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. So you kept your wrath forever. All right, T.D. Jakes, being an apologist for the so-called white man, has completely ignored all of the other things that came with slavery. All right, all of the horrific atrocities. All right, all of the, 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 the uh, casualties that died because of slavery. All right, all of the, the, the nasty things that Esau did into our people. All right, he used our people as guinea pigs, as subjects. All right, to advance their, their what is known today as modern medicine. All right, what about the father of uh, gynecology? All right, whatever his name, Kim something. And how he uh, uh, worked on so-called Negro women without anesthetics. All right, which a lot of the women became so psychologically traumatized that they committed suicide. All right, what about the molestation of, of, of boys and of girls of our nations? What about the, 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 the sexual inhumane things that they did into men and women during slavery? What about post-slavery? When slave lynchings, in, oh, I'm sorry, when post-slavery, when lynchings increased? All right, what about all of the beatings? All right, what about the casual killing act? All right. Yeah. What about that? What about the casual killing act? All right. Which was created in uh, 1705. All right. What about the unlawful assembly act? Which if you were gathered together to praise the Lord. All right. As they were doing back then in, uh, in the 1600s, because they were afraid of, of, of slave rebellions. All right. Because who wants to be in slavery? That they were they were they were uh, were allowed to kill you, without any, without any repercussions. All right, if 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 um because a lot of white women doing slavery, or self-proclaimed white women doing slavery, would just beat their slaves. They would just beat the life out of them, and it didn't matter if it was a a, a child or an adult. They would do it because they're just as bad as. The, the, the men of their race. And all of these done, things were done out of pure hatred. That's the reason why the scriptures say within the book of Sirach, the 25th chapter, in the 14th verse, it says, it, it says, in any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me, in any revenge, but the revenge of the enemies. There is no head above the, the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. See, all of these things were done because Esau kept his wrath forever. All of these things were done because Esau is our enemy. And what he did was he revenged himself because he's angry still into this day that he did not get the birthright. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. So what does that mean? A perpetual hatred. Esau did all of these things unto us because he hate us. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time that their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore as I live, saith Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills in thy, and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall there fall that are slain with the sword. 
I will make thee a perpetual desolation, and thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh, because thou hast said in thy and uh, thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, where whereas Yahweh was there. Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh, I will even do according to thine anger, and according to thine envy, which thou has has used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, and that thou and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, uh, which thou hast spoken against the mountain of Israel, saying they are laid desolate; they are given us to to consume. Thus. With your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me, I have heard them. Thus saith Yahweh, power, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at my inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, and all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh, just in case someone tries to get slick and say, well, that's just speaking about Mount Seir, all right? Which Mount Seir is the mountain that Esau belongs to, all right? That's the place where they live. So spiritually, all Esau Edom represents Mount Seir, all right? The Most High Heavenly Father is going to judge you for your revenge, all right? Your, your revenge that you carry a, a out, all right? Upon the children of Israel and your jealousy because we got the birthright and you did it. Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of Yahweh is, is, is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Their reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yet they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, in verse 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right, because you led the children of Israel into captivity. So it's only meet that you yourselves go into captivity. All right, that you yourselves go into slavery. Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and verse 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And strangers shall be joined unto them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So those strangers are Israelite foreigners that will once again cleave unto the house of Israel. And the people shall take them, the them being the other nations, beginning with Esau, Edom, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over the oppressors. Now, this is real reparations. And the uh, apostle Tahar spoke on reparations and how that you reaping what you sown is true reparations. For you to go in slavery for the enslavements that you did into our people, that's reparation. For you to be killed with the sword and to be destroyed for the destruction that you have brought upon our people, that's true reparations. Isaiah, the 51st chapter, in verse 19. Actually, verse 21. Therefore, hear now thus, hear, hear, therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus said Yahweh, uh, the, the Lord, and the power that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. So this is speaking in regards to slavery. All right, that cup that the children of Israel have drunk enough is speaking of the harsh conditions of slavery that they had to endure under you. All right? Under you. This is the book of Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. 
All right, verse 12, it says, For thus said Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So what does that mean? That means that you're getting ready to go in slavery and drink of the cup that we were made to drink of, which was, which was slavery. All right, and you're going to drink it down. You're going to go into slavery. For putting us in slavery, you're going into slavery. For I have sworn by myself, said Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation and a reproach and a waste and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. So get ready for that, all right, because it's coming soon. All right, the Most High Heavenly Father is systematically destroying America, all right, which is modern-day Idumia. So this place will be a desolation. And after the Lord has fully judged this place, all right, he's going to send his son all right, to, to, to destroy you in the chariots. He's going to gather the elect, but then he's going to allow this land to be destroyed with thermonuclear destruction. All right, beginning with the elites of your society, they're going to be the first ones to go into slavery, to drink of that cup. Isaiah 49 and 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens. All right. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens, thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their faces towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So. The, their kings, all right, is the rich elite banking families of the earth, all right, which are these Edomites that are ruling over the earth, all right, and their queens, you know, such as Queen Elizabeth, you know, and all the royal women of their families, all right, they're going to be our slaves within the kingdom of heaven. And when the Most High Heavenly Father saves us, he's going to save us from the four quarters of the earth, all right, wherever we've been driven, all right, we are suffering the curses there, all right, because it wasn't just a transatlantic slave trade, all right, by way of shipping their, their merchandise, which was us, all right, to America, all right, they were shipping the, the, the northern kingdom of Israel, the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, they were shipping them to other places throughout the world as well, all right, so they went into slavery by way of ships also, and all of this at the expense of, you know, them increasing their wealth, but also through their hatred all right, for the children of Israel doing all kind of heinous, heinous, heinous acts. All right, because you have to hate the people to put them through what the so-called white men have put our nations through. All right, the, the, the 12 nations of Israel. All right, the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, the judgment that's going to come upon them is that they're going to eat their own flesh. As it states right here within verse 26, I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, Yahweh, am a Savior and a Redeemer, are the Mighty One of Jacob. Because when He delivers us, the, the, the redemption, when He comes to redeem us by way of His Son, physically, all right, this is going to overshadow when he redeemed us from Egypt. Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, verse 7. Therefore, behold, the days uh, come, said Yahweh, that there shall no more, they, they, they shall no more say, Yahweh liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the, the, the land of Egypt. But Yahweh liveth that brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. And from all countries whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Uh, but that's pretty much the point. You know, Esau has to pay for what he did unto our people out of his perpetual hatred. All right, which in order to take a people and to put them in slavery, that means that you have to hate them. The things that Esau did unto us in slavery and after slavery shows how much he hate us and that he kept that hatred forever. All right, the reason that they did that to us is because they hate us, man. All right, and guess what? We hate them back. 
And the day is going to come where they're going to be paid back for the things that they did unto us. Going back to the book of Obadiah and reading from verse 16. I'm sorry, verse 17, it says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be and, and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau a stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Yahweh have spoken it. So that means that eventually the day is going to come that all Edomites in the planet Earth everywhere are going to be burned up and destroyed. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, inshallah.